Until the 21st century, open outcry markets were the backbone of the financial industry, with trades placed face to face through frantic yelling and hand gestures. In 1867, the first stock ticker appeared at the NYSE. Combined with the invention of the telephone, trading became more widespread. The computer age marks another milestone in increasing the speed and volume of trade. But it was the internet revolution that delivered unprecedented access to the global financial marketplace and propel the growth of online brokerages. CMC started before the internet was invented, before mobile phones. So, you know, I've seen a lot happen. Our first platform, we were actually updating prices manually. We had a mouse and we used to click it like this to tick the price up and tick the price down. When I arrived in the city, nobody even had mobile phones. I got issued my first mobile phone by Bankers Trust and it was a brick. You know, literally it was this huge satellite phone. The leaps and changes in technology are truly, truly hard to fathom. I saw the power of the internet on day one not because I was some great philosopher, but because I worked for a company called Western Union. Back then, working at 15 on the night shift, we would send a telegram, and a telegram would go from London to New York across a private wire. An ordinary individual couldn't afford a private wire, but they could afford a public wire. That's why I was so keen to develop it and get ordinary people buying and selling. There are now 143,000 traders in the UK, with retail online investing nearly doubling over the last decade. Roughly a third of new wave traders are under 35, and one in four are women. You know, in the old days, you could see who the traders were because they would be on a trading floor and they kind of had a monopoly on price discovery. Today, it's a wide open market. The electronic basis of global market means you never get to see who it is because it's everybody. It's now possible for a taxi driver to pull over to the side of the road, trade on their mobile phone, any one of 10,000 different asset classes, and they'll get the same spreads or commissions as Goldman Sachs. The thing I've noticed more than anything is that technology has kept pace with demand. When I arrived in London in 1985, none of these buildings behind us were here. This is going to be much bigger 10 years from now, 20 years from now. So much innovation in financial services, in the software that supports it, that's happening right here in the UK, which is why this country keeps receiving record sums of investment into tech. After 30 years of witnessing technological breakthroughs, what does Peter think trading will look like in the future? There's going to come a day when probably 100% of our business will be done on mobile devices. And I think desktops will become more mobile, so you just pick them up and take them with you. You know, the thing about tech is that it's both massively overhyped and massively underutilized at the same time. I deal with a lot of business leaders and political leaders, and they say, well, you know, I don't really do tech. And my answer is, well, if you don't do tech, tech is going to do you. It's not a choice. It's not about preempting what technology is going to look like in five years. It's about embracing it as it comes through and being agile.